Hello, this is Nicholas from ITpedia Solutions. This video is going to be about the Odoo mobile responsive user interface that we are developing. I want to point out that uh, Ahmed Magdi is the primary software engineer and developer. Uh, ITpedia Solutions is also doing software engineering, project management, communication, marketing, consultation, and support as well too. Okay, so a description of this is that it is a very powerful software for Odoo 8 allowing users to take full advantage of all Odoo 8 features and functionality in a full responsive web Moser interface. Any app or module written for the Odoo 8 web client interface will automatically display in a mobile friendly responsive user interface. So remember there are currently over 2816 apps and modules available in the Odoo App Store and even more in the public repositories online. Okay, let's move straight on to the demo of the Odoo 8 mobile responsive user interface. As you see, our current module is also installed in this demo database right here. Let me just point out the top menu bar here that you should be familiar with if you're familiar with Odoo 8. You can see here that all of the apps are the same thing in this mo in this in this menu as well too. Okay. There's also the side menu as well too, and you'll see that it is automatically collapsible, and it can be expandable as well too. And when it's collapsible, you can see that the menu items do show up as you hover over them. Okay. Let me go over here to the About Odoo, so you can see it is for version 8. I'll go ahead and close this right now. And then we'll go over to the Sales module. And I'm going to go over to the Opportunities here and show you the Kanban view. So here's the Kanban view. And here's the List view of the Opportunities. And here is the Form view. And I'm going to go ahead and click on edit so you can see what editing the form view looks like. And you'll see that you can edit, and I'll add a test in here, and save it through the user interface as well too. Okay, we're going to take a quick look at the graphs, and you'll see the graphs show up as well too. This table outline, here's a line graph, and here's a pie chart right here. We're going to do move now to try to demonstrate what it would look like in a tablet form. So let me just change some things here. Okay, that looks like a tablet in a horizontal view. You can see the top menu bar does decrease automatically and it adds it to the, the more menu as well too. And again, the side menu bar is expandable and collapsible as well too through this user interface. Okay. So looking back at the views, you can see the pie chart view. You can also see the bar track and the table view as well through the mobile interface. Okay, we're going to go and take a look at the Kanban view real quick. And you can see that the Kanban view is responsive as well too, as well as the list view. And we can't demonstrate this here now, but uh, the center portion here is touch friendly, and so you can move it back and forth with your finger. And the same idea with the Kanban view as well, too. Take a look at the form view. You'll see that uh, we currently have the form view set up, and we're going to add in something and save it. Next, we're going to take a look at what it would look like in a, in a mobile view on a smartphone. So this is approximately the size of a smartphone. And you can see here that the top menu bar now changed because the screen size is smaller. And so as opposed to the top menu bar being in a line, you click on this plus button. And then this is how you would go to the items that were in the top menu bar. We're going to stay in sales here. 
real quick. Um, again, the side menu bar is totally collapsed, and you don't even see it at all, except for in order to get that back, you just click on uh, the three lines up here, and the side menu bar does come back in the mobile interface. And of course, you can still see you know, the, the user menu as well, too. Okay, so we're going to go and switch this over to the opportunities again, and then we're going to change the view to list view. And again, this is touch friendly here. I can't demonstrate that, but it is touch friendly. And we'll take a look at the form view. And I'll show you that we can edit it as well, too. And so I'm just going to add this in as a test here. And you can see how the user interface is responsive and all the forms and fields do change as well, too. And so we'll go ahead and save that. I would like next to show you some of the views with respect to uh, the graph chart. You can see the graph view shows up, and it is, of course, responsive as well, too. And then also the pie chart. You can see the pie chart is responsive as well, too. And just incidentally, just to show you how responsive it is, if we move the pie chart, you can see how, I'm sorry, the, the uh, bar chart, it does move as well, too, responsibly. And so on that, we're going to move this over to what looks like a, a s horizontal smartphone view. And you can see that everything does change as well too to be responsive to it. And so here's an example of the pie chart. And then we'll go back to the form view and show you that we can also make edits as well too. And of course it is responsive because it does change you know the screen with the screen size as well. Next, we're going to go back to the desktop view because what I would like to show you is that not only is this app, the mobile responsive app, compatible with the basic Odoo features and functionality, it is compatible with any, and that is any app or module that is installed for Odoo 8. So we're going to go back to the settings, and in this particular demonstration database, we've installed Open Educat, and so Open Educat is a uh, learning management system. It's a system that helps basically um, run schools and run educational systems. Okay, So that is installed. And we'll go to one of the Open Educat menus here. And we are going to open up uh, the students. You can see here that they're in the Kanban view here. Um, and then you can also list them in the list view. And so we'll change it back to the mobile view, and you can see that it automatically is responsive. Okay, I'm going to open up a student, and you can see that the student information is unique to this particular Open Educat app, and it does display responsibly. I'll click on the edit, and you can see that we're able to edit it responsibly as well, too. I'm going to make this a little bit larger so that it looks like what it would look like in a tablet view. Again, you can see how the menus then become responsive at the very top. Um, and all the fields as well within the user interface are responsive as we switch uh, the particular views. We're now going to take a quick look at another custom module. And that custom module that we're looking at is the medical module. And so it's Odoo Medical for version 8. And this is just a medical system with an ability to collect medical data. And so this is under the medical menu here. And so just as an example, here is a patient in the Kanban view. And when we click on the patient itself, these are all fields that are specific to the Odoo Medical app. And all those fields are displaying properly and we can edit it as well too. And of course if we reduce the size down to what would be a smartphone device, all the fields automatically are responsive. Uh, and you'll notice we stayed in the edit mode when that occurred. Okay. And we will enlarge this to the desktop view again. So this concludes our demonstration. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, please contact us. If you are interested in using 
our mobile responsive app, please support our crowdfunding campaign. I'm just going to briefly show you our crowdfunding campaign that we launched on Indiegogo. Um, our initial goal is to be able to release a source code in a public repository on GitHub, and GitHub repository will remain publicly indefinitely. Uh, we will also use the OCA, which is the Odoo Community Association Conventions, for software development to the best of our ability. The license of the source code will be released under the AGPL version 3 license for Odoo version 8. Um, the, the source code does include other third-party sources, and they will be released under their own open source licenses, and you know their licenses are the Apache, MIT, and Mozilla licenses. Okay, we already know what we can do with Odoo 8, so I just wanted to show you what our additional stretch goals are in this campaign. And so we do have a number of additional stretch goals. And so if we're able to raise 22,000 euros, then we'll be able to, in addition to releasing it publicly, we will put the effort into making this project a part of the Odoo, Odoo Community Association. And we'll create a project team. And then all the members of this uh, campaign and all the members, uh, that's Ahmed and uh, ITPD Solutions, we will join the OCA as members of the OCA. <laughs> and so at 27,000, uh, we will become an OCA bronze sponsor. And uh, that's basically a contribution to the OCA. Uh, we will also integrate the ability to use uh, the for the end user to select either right to left or left to right in the user interface. And that's important for languages such as Arabic and Hebrew and other languages that use um, uh, left to right display. Um, at 35,000 euro we would become a U, uh, OCA silver sponsor and we would add the additional feature in code to be able to have the end user change the color theme within the user interface. Um, within that we would also include five uh, base color themes. Uh, at 50,000 we would be able to uh, develop and fund a uh, Android app that Android app would be released under a GPL v3 license. Uh, the same thing at 60,000 um, for iOS app, that also would be a GPL v3 license. And at 70,000, Windows Phone app for the GPL v3 license uh, for the Windows Phone as well, too. Uh, at at 100,000, we would upgrade everything that we've done here, including all the mobile apps, um, to be compatible with version 9. And then we would also become an OCA Gold sponsor. And so this is a a little bit uh, more detailed description of uh, what I just said about the stretch goals. And I just want to briefly point out the perks that we have. Um, the feature perk that we have here is the Cornerstone sponsor. Uh, and that's for 400 euros. And you get uh, essentially your name on as a sponsor on the actual um, app itself. And so it's put into the, it's called the manifest area. Um, and so good looking at going back here to the settings. Uh, the manifest area is this description right here. And so your your sponsorship information would appear um, in the manifest area as well as in the root of the of in a file I within the app itself it you'd be listed as a as a sponsor. Um, at the fifty euro we'll this is a social media thank you and so the Cornerstone sponsor also gets a social media thank you and so we'll put a um, uh, a tweet or a message out indicating your sponsorship as well too. Um, the 100, the uh, 100 euro is a silver level, level partner. Um, it's basically everything that we just talked about, plus we'll be able to provide one hour of uh, functional training and consultation uh, through a technology such as Google Hangouts. Uh, and like it says here, you can you get everything from the Cornerstone perk. Uh, the gold partner perk, you get one customized color palette to your liking. And then you get YouTube access to uh, pre-recorded functional training videos about how to get the best out of uh, this current thing in an app. At the 2,000 euro level, two customized color palettes to your liking. And of course, the access to pre-recorded functional training videos. Uh, 25,000 euro is uh, five color palettes for customization. And everything that you get from the gold partner uh, for 5,000 euro, you get a new layout, and by layout we mean changing the menu locations and behavior, updating the fonts, the user interface widgets, and location, and then we include everything else from the gold sponsor. Um, the s at 7,000 euro, you get a new custom layout 
plus three, so that's three months of support. So it's basically everything that you get um, with the new custom layout, um, but you also get support as well. Um, and then at 10,000, you get six months of support for uh, that new custom layout. Uh, a lot of our perks and uh, a lot of our stretch goals include uh, items that come from the OC community, OCA, uh, which is the Odoo Community Association, and so I just wanted to briefly talk about the OCA. And so the OCA is a nonprofit organization, and these are their goals. And so if you see here, they're they're helping out uh, with the collaboration of Odoo software development. Um, that they try to coordinate the organization's collaborative work. Um, they defend the interest and the sustainability of, of Odoo and its development. They promote Odoo. Uh, and they have fundraising and synergies to collaborate uh, actively on the software. <laughs> and so these are all uh, ideas that we would like to support. And this is the reason why that we are supporting the OCA as well, too. Uh, the OCA is a wonderful organization. Uh, they have a lot of resources. And so we'll just take a quick look here at their projects and apps. If you click on their apps, you can see that they have a number of apps in the Odoo App Store. Um, uh, and there's a tremendous amount of functionality that's available for, for version 8. In fact, most of these apps are compatible with version 8. Um, they also have uh, a lot of these apps are, are organized into teams. And these are the different types of teams. And as you can see, there's a tremendous amount of teams uh, that, that cover a lot of facets of Odoo's functionality. Uh, from the localization teams to the actual functional areas such as you know banking, manufacturing, so on and so forth. And there's even teams that are um, uh, designed for, for Odoo that is not typical you know business software as well too. Well, thank you again for your time and we hope that you will be able to support our crowdfunding campaign. Uh, if you have any questions, please contact us. Uh, we have contact information on in the information we'll be sending out to the community mailing list as well as here on the Indiegogo campaign page. Thank you again for your time and have a great day.